Welcome back to Tutorial Days and in this video I am going to show you how this edit functionality work. Okay, so first we need to check this edit section here. So we need to replace this code to this one. So what will happen here, when we click on this edit, then it will go to edit uh, page and then ID will pass there. So now, but to work this, we need to import a uh, link here. Import link from the proctor down okay so now it's working let's try here so okay we don't have any record we need to add some record say first name over London ABC at the rate gmail.com okay. okay so now it's added and let's see in the view section so when i when i click this it should redirect me to edit page with this id so it's working so far fine you can see, see here that it is going edit as well as the id is passing here so what is the id actually this one is the id here 11 so that is the id so we need to modify this edit page so that the data will come here field let's go to edit page this one and here we will write the code so the best idea is let's go to insert page and then copy from the so render to this one from render to its closing brackets okay just copy this and paste here edit because the form will be same that's why now here we need to add properties so apart from that the other things will be also to large extent similar constructor this one so let's just copy this and paste here and apart from that the function names will be also same these functions but only the submit will be different so here these are the functions now then here we need to write code after this uh, closing this constructor we are writing this code so it is on non so it is more of like when the page loads okay when the page loads so xos then this is the path and the data will be fetched and then it will be filled into our form so it will be like get by id i would like the file language so this is the file so based on id the data will be uh, fetched from here so our file name is this one So we'll write code here dot php question mark id equals to this one. So data will be fetched from this API and then it will be stored set state. So 
in state first name last name will be saved and the same state will be coming here inside the value so let's try okay this is not defined so we need to include in this page also So here you can see it is more of a, like on page load. So when the page will load, then get my ID in this parent match. So based on ID, the data will be attached and stored here. Now we need to create function here below for updating because uh, here we have written on submit function name so we need to create that function for the time being we can just create this function we will write it for the letter simply it will be a blank function the more code we will place here later so let's check Something six year one. So when I click on adding, only this one is coming. So there is something wrong. First name, last name. So let me check. So let's see here in the network section what the data is coming. Okay, so it is coming F name and L name like this okay that is right our key is different f name l name you can see here so let's go to here and modify okay so the our response is coming as the response from database is coming as f name okay and this one is l name so why it is like this it is because in our database the field name is like this that is right and these values are coming from database now if you check then you can see Umar Rahman and all the data is coming field so when you go to here click then data is coming field so our last task is when we click on this register now it will not register now we need to change this name actually this time the name will be update user update user so when we click on this update user then the records will be uh, updated and for preparing the data here it will be similar to insert code so again we can copy this code up to here okay and paste here right because here also here also we will prepare object and then same object will be sent to database for updating and then here it will, it will be the code xrc then post and then this is our path and update.php so here two things will be passed the first one will be the complete data and then ID because based on ID the data will be updated so let's go to update.php so this is our PHP file so this is for update code here we need to make some modifications mm. simply let's delete all these things it's not required actually so first it will, it will fetch ID so in our case it is uh, ID 
check here. So, okay, one more thing. We need to pass ID here as well. So, it's right here. S ID or simply ID column and then so what we are getting here it is params ID okay match params ID so from parameter it will it will fetch ID and then this one so we need to pass ID as well mm, do we need to I don't think so because we are taking this from parameter from here we are fetching the ID from here and passing to the PHP part okay so we don't need this one actually so this ID is getting fetched from here this ID this ID is getting fetched from here this ID okay so we are passing this ID as well the data as well as ID okay so update.php so we can okay so in PHP file we don't need to get ID like this we will get ID so we direct first let's delete these things actually this code is for malicious code sanitation okay so it is first name so how we are sending from here our name is first name last name email okay so in that case we will write here first name last name and then email okay we can start with same number or different so no problem we are signing this with the same name okay so that it will match here so first we are getting id okay so not like this the id we will get like this id from data we are getting id so what is coming from there if you want to check here then let's write here print r then this data request same column and then let's try here by updating so click on network and then update so it is saying 404 okay so id sorry guys we need to pass a question mark here now php then question mark id equals to this id and this one so so in that case also here the get watch find this because this time now the id will come as a query string from here that's why it will be passed as a query string so now we will write get rather than here get all right so now let's try again okay so it looks like this time it is fine so in response it is not coming anything but let's try to update say I'm changing this email ID okay and then update so it is saying 204 so is it updating
yeah the data get updated okay so just I'm putting here s in my name trying here and then press the data is also name is changing so it's working fine now once the data is updated it should redirect to view page so similarly we need to pass this one okay so let's write this code redirect here also and then set state here redirect false so in this case here yeah, set state redirect will be initially false right and once the response come from there then this is a response okay console at log here we will set state so this set state code we will write there so this time it will be true start so here comma and now here we need to write that code which one for a, a, a redirection this one and now let's try to update this again I'm just removing removing this as and update so it is going there perfectly I did and then update the name is oh did it really update yeah it is updating but the data is not reflecting somehow yeah data is reflecting here now so data is updating here so this way you can see that insert update delete or this complete CRUD operation is possible through react.js as a front-end and php mysql uh, json format or rest api from backend so that's it uh, in this video so thanks for watching I'll see you, see you later and please don't forget to subscribe and also press bell button so that uh, you'll get always updated videos and similar useful videos I can uh, uh, you know post and you can get notified so thanks for watching bye bye